Well, I ended up doing a video earlier, um, but it dawned on me I couldn't really do the video without talking about what happened to Procrastinator, and I didn't really know exactly what did happen with Procrastinator, so I had to consult the veterinarian. I want to know what the difference between AFib and the thumps were. I, I just did a video. Uh, I posted it to the procrastinator group, but you know what? I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it to everybody so you can see what took place. Anyway, uh, a bit of a, you guys got a real look at the uh, of horse racing day. You know, I picked up the lines and I'm like, if we have a big day, we could potentially win every race. That wouldn't that be cool? Going five for five. Now you can never say that out loud because you know what will happen. You win zero of five races. And the way that it shook down today, we did win with Century Invictus. He raced very, very good. Watched him race in the last race. Um, it wasn't the last race, but in the ninth, I believe, at Grand River Raceway. Scott Coulter drove him well. He raced well. This is a horse we got to get. I, I, I don't want to say it out loud. Well, I'm going to say it out loud. I said it out loud before. He should be at Yonkers. James was the first one to bring it up, but truthfully, this horse can scoot around a half as good as any size track. He's as fast at Grand River as he is at Mohawk. I guarantee you he is, and probably a horse that should be doing some good for us at, at Yonkers. So, um, you know, he raced for, what, 8,800 Canadian tonight? I would assume the class he races for in Yonkers is like 25,000 American, and a horse like him, man, I think he could do some real, real damage in, uh, in Yonkers. So for my partners, for those of you out there watching this, uh, we should take a serious look at potentially sending uh, Century Invictus to Yonkers. So a great race from him nonetheless. I'm not going to talk anymore about what could be, what might be. Let's talk about what is and was. He is a nice colt, and it was a great race tonight. Now, per lucky, I thought he got an easier mile in tonight than he did last week. I thought the horse raced tremendously last week and then come up with a, a great finish. Just got beat at the wire. Tonight it looked like he had everything his own way and it just he just had to finish the race off. And he, he couldn't do it. So I was a little a little disappointed but at the same token um, nice horse nonetheless. Um, I know he is just to take over 9,000 made last four. So I'm taking a look to see what's at Scioto, what's at the Meadows coming up this week. And we'll get per lucky a little softer bunch his next start. Yes, man, that was probably one of his best. In fact, Greg, one of our clients, one of my partners said that was the best race he's gone in quite a while. I think you're right. Left, had to remove at the quarter, had to remove again down the back stretch, and then ended up trying to chase down the eventual winner and only coming falling short by what a neck. Horse race, fantastic. Um, just plagued from the start, you know, had to, got to lead, then had to let one go and had to remove quick and had to let another one go. And it was just a, the horse race, great. Horse race, fantastic. Tony had to do what he had to do, just the way the race shook out. I thought the horse raced absolutely fantastic, finishing second and doing all that work. It's almost unfair. Now he's got four seconds and five starts. And, you know, obviously he couldn't win all of them because as soon as you had won one of them, wouldn't be able to race in that class again. But, um, you know, I think he. I think if you add it all up, he lost. He lost all four races by a combined total of under two lengths, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely three of them were under a length. So, um, yes, just he looked fantastic. He looked great today, and a great drive by uh, by Tony Hall. So that was three of them. Sweet on Pete, very disappointing. Um, man, that's a tough one. Um, you know, she got out of the gate good, removed good to the front, got a cheap half. And then you could tell coming out of the last turn, she was in trouble. She was in deep water. Um, and she's, I, I got to be honest, anytime I see a horse, Pacey, making breaks at the wire, especially a horse that I know isn't a cheap horse, it's got to be soreness. And I, I can't quite put my finger on it. I think the easiest way to do it is take it race by race. She ran in the turn, going into the turn after the mile at Northfield, made it to the wire, and a pretty grueling trip that night for her. Then you come back uh, six days, five days. Did that play a role? A new surface. Did that play a role? I don't know. So he here's how we're going to unpack Sweet on Pete before next Saturday's race. This is what we're going to do. Take her blood. Want to make sure that just because what we see, uh, her, her making a break after the wire last week, or making a break in, in prior performances this year, want to make sure that these aren't unrelated. Want to check that muscle count. She did ship two hours to the Meadows um, and how did that ship go? How, how did she settle in at the Meadows? We don't know. So let's take a look at her blood, first and foremost. After that, 
get her back. I know uh, Tim's vet's going to have a look at her tomorrow, but I want Mike, Mike, our vet, to have a real close look at her when they get her back on Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Um, maybe later Saturday afternoon. So it might be Monday till Mike gets a chance to look at her. So once we know her blood is or isn't okay, once we have the vet say, okay, Anthony, it is that right stifle again, or geez, her feet are still quite a bit sore than I'd like to see them, or maybe her knees are bothering her this week. We don't know what the trigger is. We don't know what the secondary, I can tell you her stifle bothers her, her feet bother her. Do her knees bother her? Do those checks bother her? I could go on and on and on. She's a racehorse. We have horses that have issues. Lots of everybody is a horse that has issues, uh, that have issues. But why is Pete making breaks at the wire? Why is she got her tongue dragging at the wire? She's trying her hardest to finish out the mile and just can't quite get there. Why? I can assure you, it's not stamina. It's not bleeding. So why? So first thing we have to do: take that blood, see if there's any anomalies in the blood. Secondly. Get the vet to check her out, and in her case, not just one, but two vets are going to check her out before Monday afternoon. I'm very interested to see what the findings on both vets are. Those are the first two things we got to do with Sweet on Pete. Um, and I think most of the answers for all of our questions will come in one or both of those set parameters. Check the blood, check the horse. And I think after that, if by some stroke of, of unluckiness, we don't have clear, concise answers from those two things. At that point, we're going to have to look at changing her equipment, changing her shoes. This is a, a tough filly, and I can assure you, I know her. If she's not making it to the wire, something's bugging her. It's not obvious. It's not evident to the naked eye, but it's, it's bothering her. So uh, we'll do our best to get to the bottom of that. She is going to race next Saturday. There isn't any acute lameness. Uh, I talked to Tim after. He said she seems fine. He said, um, Mike said she was really pacey coming out of the last turn and then swung to the pace down by the wire and, got, and, made, and made a break. So um, no acute lameness, no obvious signs of lameness. Going to have Tim's vet go over her, going to draw the blood, uh, and then have Mike Le Dr. Mike Latessa, our vet in Ohio, go over her. I think between the next 72 hours, we'll have a, a pretty good idea of what took place today in Washington, Pennsylvania. So, um, you know, it's just one of those situations, you know, whether it be we had a client today messaged me about, messaged me about, uh, was upset that the Philly qualified without hobbles on and, you know, horses had made breaks. And listen, guys, there's a lot going on right now. And um, I think this is one of these situations where tonight we're going to turn the page, not completely. We want to make sure that we want to make sure that we know what took place with Sweet on Pete. And I don't think it's anything that we can't mitigate. Um, it's just a matter of tinkering her schedule, tinkering her equipment if need be, and tinkering her shoeing if need be. But none of that can take place until we get a clear, concise answer from one, the blood work, and two, the bed. So, uh, as I said, today we had Perlucky. We had Procrastinator who got the thumps. We can fix that. Then we come out with um, Yes, who raced right out of his skin raced absolutely fantastic uh what else did we race today century invictus century invictus was a winner but i think we had five we had per lucky we had procrastinator we had yes we had century invictus i'm i'm missing someone no end i got it right here let me get to the bottom of this it's bugging me to no end what was the fifth horse we had oliver we had per lucky procrastinator yes I just said it. What is wrong with me? It's Sweet on Pete. I just talked about her for five minutes. I'm losing my mind. So, well, again, we had um, we had uh, Per Lucky who raced good. I'm not going to say fan. I thought he raced fantastic last week. He raced good today. Uh, procrastinator did all he could, and obviously um, the thumps was a real issue. So again, difference between AFib and the thumps. AFib is when the cardiac muscle spasm. The thumps is when the diaphragm spasms. Both are caused, in this case, almost certainly by, by uh, in both cases, almost certainly by electrolyte imbalances, probably caused to the use of Lasex in two weeks. So we know how to fix it, what to do with it. Procrastinator should be 110% when he goes behind the gate next start. Um, and then we went to uh, Sweet on Pete, 
who has the issue made a break at the wire. We're going we're, this is an ongoing issue that we're dealing with. And then last, certainly not least, the highlight of the night, Century Invictus. Big win from that guy. Great race from him. He has really turned into a half-mile specialist. So with that, I'll talk to you guys soon. We had a huge day today at the track in the baby qualifiers. I had a late video. I'm sorry. I got that out late to you. And then tomorrow, the big male guns come out tomorrow. The big uh, brace for landing. Crantini, Carter, Michael, Dio, to name a few. Enzo be a fun day tomorrow the weather looks good if you're in the area stop by it should be a lot of fun take care everybody